Good evening. Glad to see everyone out with us this evening. If you're visiting, we're especially glad that you're here. We're going to be meeting Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. It's going to kick off our gospel meeting. It's going to be 9 o'clock, and all adult classes will meet in the auditorium. We'll kind of go over the schedule. We're also going to have meals on Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night. On Monday night, service team 1 and 6 will prepare the meal. Tuesday night will be service team 2. Then on Wednesday night, service team 3 and 4. That's at 6 o'clock in the fellowship hall. And then we'll have uh, Jim Dearman will be speaking. on. That will be starting Sunday at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and then at 5 o'clock. That's on Sunday. And then during the week, it will be at 7 o'clock. So meals at 6, uh, Jim Dearman at 7. So please bring somebody to our gospel meeting. Please uh, support that. If you have any information for the youth news, please get that to Seth or Jill. And also remember Honduras items. There's some baskets out in the lobby. There's a, uh, a list of uh, supplies to bring. So if you uh, bring stuff, please put those in the basket. David Robinson was unable to go to chemo this week because his platelet count was too low. He's going to be going next week instead. So please continue to pray for him. And they've also put off his first scan until May 22nd. Also continue to remember everybody else on the sick list, uh, Totsy Sanders, Miss Renfro, Miss Ruby Wilburn, Kenneth Osmer. I think I'm forgetting somebody, but um, please keep those in mind. Our song of invitation tonight is number 402. 402. Our closing prayer will be led by Cecil Phil, y'all. Tim. I'd like to begin with a reading in Hebrews chapter 10, beginning in verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of the good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with these same sacrifices which they offer continually year by year make those who approach perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? For the worshipers, once purified, would have had no more consciousness of sins. But in those sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every year, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. Verse 10, By that will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The song that we're about to sing, Living for Jesus describes some of the concepts that we read from the book of Hebrews so clearly and makes an application to life. Living for Jesus, a life that is true, striving to please Him in all that I do, yielding allegiance, glad-hearted and free, this is the pathway of blessing for me. Verse 2, living for Jesus, who died in my place, bearing on Calvary my sin and disgrace, such love constrains me to answer his call, follow his leading, and give me my give me give him my all. And then the chorus. O Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee, for thou in thine atonement didst give thyself for me. I own no other master. My heart shall be thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O Christ, for thee alone. What a beautiful song. What a beautiful concept. All of the Old Testament leads forward to the time in history when God would bring the Messiah into the world, but not a king who would be victorious in a physical world, but a king who would bring a spiritual victory over a physical world and would bring the forgiveness of our sins and call upon those who would follow that king to be a part of that citizenship to render obedience to him. Tonight, most of you in this audience have made Christ your king. You have been washed in the blood, forgiven by the sacrifice and the atonement of the Lord. But there are two thoughts that I would like to leave you with. One is the memory of the great payment and the price that it cost. There is, as each of us goes through the year, times when those persons who are veterans or for the, uh, the state of the nation, we make mention of the fact 
that other individuals have paid high prices in the past for the freedoms that we enjoy as part of the United States. As Christians, we gather together regularly and we sing songs to one another. We remind ourselves, we speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, stirring up each other in love and good works. We need to remember that sacrifice. And number two, having remembered the sacrifice, make our daily dedication to live our lives worthy of the calling of Jesus. But it may be tonight that you are not a part of the body of Christ. You've never been washed in the blood of Jesus in the waters of, of baptism. You've never changed your life from a way of the life of the world in repentance to one who is going to follow after the Lord. You've never made the good confession that we read of in the New Testament that I believe in Jesus as the Son of God. And if you need to do that tonight and take those steps, we invite you. We invite you to come now while we stand and while we sing. Won't you come? <clears throat> Twenty-four. We'll close with this. Be dismissed in prayer. <clears throat> Remember, Tim mentioned last Sunday that we need to be here Sunday and bring somebody else with you. So let's work on that next day or two. <clears throat> I am I no more. I am I no more. I've been. Born
Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we are thankful that you bless us with another day. We're grateful for every blessing you provide for us. We're especially thankful for the time we've been together tonight and study. We thank you for those that teach, that give us a greater knowledge of your word. We're thankful for each and every member of our congregation, our elders and our deacons, and those that serve in special ways. And Father, our hearts are with those that are unable to be with us, that are dealing with sickness, dealing with recovering from surgery. We ask your blessing on Brother Ken, Brother Totsy, and others that are dealing with different uh, problems in their lives. We ask you to also be with the ones that were mentioned here tonight that are may, may need uh, special needs may have special needs. Father, we ask you to go with us now as we depart and watch over and protect us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.